In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own lists in Anki so you can actually study the things that you want to study. Um, I'm going to be creating lists for all the content on TextFugu, but there's going to be things that you're going to want to create on your own so that you can study things outside of TextFugu, like your passion list, which is what we're working on right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Anki, and there should be a button that says Create. Go ahead and click that, and then you get to name your deck. So I'm going to name this my passion list hit OK and then you're taken to a page that lets you uh, add material uh, from here I think it's pretty straightforward uh, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with Anki there's like basically an unlimited amount of options but I'd recommend starting with the uh, the most basic setup which is the default setup and it should be uh, plenty good for what you're doing right now but later on you could probably learn how to add audio images more sides to each card and things like that that really uh, that really make Anki a really powerful tool. But let's keep things simple for now. So I'm going to click Add Material, and then right here we have a a template to put in information. So this first box is the front of the card. The second one is the back, and then there's tags which I usually ignore. So for the front, for example, if I'm adding a vocabulary word, um, let's let's say uh, one of my words is uh, mushroom. I'm going to put in mushroom and then I'm going to type in kinoko, the word for mushroom, and then hit the add button. And then bam, I have a card added for mushroom. Let's add a couple more in here. Um, grapes, go. Apparently my passion list is food. Um, let's do apple. Ningo, add, and then uh, that should be good for now. And then we're going to go ahead and hit close. So I have three words in my list. Of course, you're going to have a lot more than this. Um, but then when we hit close, then we have the option to study it. Now we can actually go back to our list here, and you can see the different lists we had. We have the hiragana list, which we added earlier. And then now we have my passion list, which is uh, the, the list that you created just now. Um, you can go ahead and open it whenever you want to study it and then hit review you have your options in here just like before hit review and then all of a sudden you're able to study it so we have mushroom uh, what is mushroom oh it's kinoko I didn't know it so I'm gonna hit it again grapes mmm I'm not sure oh, I was budo okay and then oh, apple Let's say we knew that one bingo yeah that one is really easy and then uh, it's gonna Show us some other ones here because we didn't know them. Oh, now we know it's Kinoko. Okay, I kind of knew that one. Grapes, Budo. Okay, good. Congratulations, you have finished studying. So, uh, if I want to keep on studying, of course, I could hit review early, but I'm all done here, so I'm going to hit finish. So, it's really just as simple as that. Um, you just got to open up Anki, hit create, and then uh, add items to your list. And you can always add more items later on. Uh, if you want to add to your list, you can always edit things as well. Um, and uh, you can use Anki to create your own passion list uh, for the exercise that we're doing right now in TextFu, or you can use it to create all kinds of other lists as well. So that's it for this one. If you have any trouble with this, feel free to email me. I am always happy to help. Talk to you soon.